The best part about living with Maniac is he's very clean. He's probably the cleanest in the house in terms of downstairs. I mean, his room's messy, but I don't care about his room. I care about the community pool, the drinking pool. The worst part about living with Maniac is that he is trying to become a producer. Sometimes it's 4 a.m. and he forgets to turn off his actual speakers and turn it into his headset. And you just hear constant bass just at 4 a.m. and I have to go in there and yell at him to turn it down. Worst part about living with Bose as well, I'm gonna have to, that's the first one that I'm gonna knock on is messiness. It's, I hate mess, I hate clutter. Uh, best part about living with Davis is he doesn't really bother me very much. I usually am the one bothering him. Uh, whenever I like wanna talk to him, I'm the one that goes to him. He doesn't really come up in my room like everyone else and interrupt my videos and recording. The worst part about Davis is that he can't smell. He has a problem with his nose, so he can never tell when he stinks. And sometimes he walks past me and I'm just like, Dude, you gotta shower. The worst part about living with Will is that I never get to see him. He, that's his room, he never never leaves it. As you can see, it's it's closed right now. Best part about living with Krim was whenever we'd lose a match or do something wrong and he'd yell at me, I'd always get to go up there and yell at him back and just play games with him and you know joke around. So that was always fun. The worst part about living with Krim was you could hear him raging. I used to sit in here and watch TV a lot and you could just hear him yelling money eights at two in the morning and it was just like, it was hard to disconnect from the gaming world when you heard him constantly. The best part about living with Mike is definitely he keeps me motivated to go to the gym and eat healthy. He keeps me on a good a good path. Whenever we go to the gym, we always have really good workouts together. Worst part about living with Flame, again, I'm gonna go back to the messiness. Him, along with Bose, are both super messy in the kitchen, and I despise them for it. Best part about living with Pomage is that whenever I wanna collaborate and make a video with him, uh, like a sniping video, because I love to snipe, I don't really get to do it much in pubs. I don't really do it much in pubs, so whenever I get the opportunity to 1v1 against him, it's always super fun. Super competitive and he's just a doorway so I can just go be like, hey, you want to record a 1v1? And he's like, yeah. Worst part about living with Pomage, he is in the trio of the messy ones, him, Mike, Bose. Best part about living with Lethal is, one, he's another competitive player. He's the only other competitive player in the house that plays for a competitive optic gaming team. Also, he doesn't annoy me. He, he you know, doesn't come up and bother me like, Everybody else does, so I applaud him for that. The worst part about living with Lethal is that he took my baby boo's room downstairs, AKA Matthew Piper, AKA The Pipe, AKA Formal. He took my duo's room, and he just doesn't amount to my old duo.